Hello everyone, I'm Aussie JTV, and today we're going to answer the question, what is Boulder Dash? Now, Boulder Dash originally was a 1984 game on the Commodore 64, and this game certainly pays tribute to that, if not is sort of a straight-up remake by Blackbird Studios, which I assume is a French company based on the language here. Please tell me if I've got that wrong. Um, but basically, it's a very simple game um, where we must collect diamonds, avoid boulders, and get to the exit. So let's just dive right in. I haven't really played any of this so far, so it'll be interesting to see how we do. But as you can see, one thing we I've always loved about this sort of pixel art graphics is the soundtracks, like 16-bit, 32-bit graphics and art style. So as you can see, we can sort of dig through the landscape and we have to avoid these boulders which will automatically fall as we're playing if we make a gap and similarly collect all the diamonds. Um, so I think it's very simple controls here. All we have is to move with the arrow keys. It does seem like sometimes going down takes a little... I don't know if it takes more energy or, or what, but it seems to uh, be harder to press it continuously at the same time. And I think I've gone too far here. In that I want to get this diamond. It looks like everything has physics, to a degree anyway. So both the diamonds and the boulders will fall. Um, so, yeah, what was basically what I was saying, and as I was saying, that is the first death of the game already. So I think it would just... I was going to say I think it would just restart us, but... Oh, I don't know if that was a bit of a, a long loading screen there. I was wondering what was going on. But basically, it will then start us in the same level again if, until we finally complete it, is my understanding. And then it will show a new level. But all of this is customizable from the menu screen. You can uh, change which different cave type you start at, I believe, which um, level of that cave you want to start, etc., etc. This is really bringing back memories to me, actually, of when I... Probably, probably my first real memories of ever gaming uh, were on the Game Boy Original. Uh, and I had a cousin who actually was a bit older than me and was going to university. And I've died at exactly the same spot because I'm thinking too much about the analogy. Let's focus on getting through this. At least it loaded faster this time. But yeah, basically, um, he, when he went to university, decided to give me his Game Boy original and all the games he had. And I can't remember how many he had, but um, I don't know, probably about 30 or something like that. Quite a decent selection. And I played that so much as a child. Um, I guess that's where I first discovered sort of the Pokemon genre, Pokemon Red. Played a lot of that um, after he gave it to me. In fact, I, now that I say that, I think it just shows how fortunate I have been with my gaming. I have a feeling that I was actually given to, given that by someone else, um, like a friend of my, well, this child or one of my parents' friends. But yeah, he did definitely gave me games like uh, Castlevania, Belmont's Revenge. He gave me, um, I'm trying to think now, there was a Star Wars game. Um, and all sorts of classics. Now, here's an interesting prize. How do we get this without some boulder falling on our head? I wonder if we actually... Oh, that's close. We want to go down and around, because I think we can probably dig up. So this is going to be quick. We're going to go up and then quickly turn down. Okay, that worked quite well, actually. Um, not really a problem. Now, if I... What well, I'm not sure is, this, is stuff going to fall... Ah, something's going to fall on my head. Right, let's try this once more. I think we can get to the end, <laughs> or, or you, we'd hope to. Oh, I think we actually have... A, okay, so obviously we have a set number of lives. So what I'm going to do, and this could be for better or for worse, but I'm going to show off the fact that there's different speeds. So as you can see, we've got in the, the top left, we've got regular, turbo, and OMG. So let's see if we can go to turbo. Might be a bit too much to ask, considering I literally have only just started playing the game and haven't successfully done it once. I'm not sure what it really means. I feel like I can move a bit faster. I don't know if the boulders are going to fall faster. Okay, the boulders are definitely falling faster. But it looks like I'm sped up as well, so it's not... Um, not all bad. And I'm starting to learn what the, the best route is, or at least what I think the best route is. I'm, I'm ready to be proved wrong um, on a lot of these. But one of the big things I think they did change from the original game is the character was not this sort of colourful sprite you see here. It was a bit more black and white. And I'm trying to remember how we tackled this last time. I think we're just going to try and go for the, the right this time. Oh, you have to be very fast there. Um, anyway, I think we can definitely do this. I don't know... Ah, okay, so the reason it took so long to load before is I thought you had to press space to start the loading. But actually, pressing start, a space bar pauses it. So let's not do that this time. Um, right, I'm determined that we're at least going to complete this level and then maybe show off some of the other levels um, for this video. Probably won't be as long as my other What Ifs, because as you see, it's quite a simplistic game. Obviously, the original came out in 1984, um, which is before I was born, and probably before the time a lot of you were born who are watching this now. But it's definitely interesting to see, and it's amazing how far games have evolved over time. I mean, even just in my... Okay, I don't think we can go at it from the left. So let's 
See if we can do it here. If we can't, when we go back to the main menu screen, we're going to try a different cave and uh, see how we go from that. Obviously, I can't always promise a good gameplay when 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 you watch my channel, but hopefully, it's entertaining enough. Even even seeing me fail, I know a lot of people I've watched in the past. It's sometimes very enjoyable watching them not succeed as much as it is the success of them actually succeed. Um, we're definitely getting faster at this first bit, though, so that's good. Um, we just need to, I think, tackle this one at the bottom by from the right rather than from the left. So, how did we do it last time? If we go this way, and then get in here, and then we can just go down. I don't know. I don't know if it's because we were playing on turbo or something like that. It just felt like it wasn't fast enough. So let's let let's try doing. I'm just seeing how we change the controls. It looks like we can go. Well, let's go cave E. Why not? And then level five. I'm not entirely sure how I use those. Oh, this is very different. So I guess we need to avoid these red things. I bet you when they get let out of their cage, they're going to get angry. Oh, and, well, I don't know if that was me walking into it or whether it was it escaping the cage. I don't know. Let, maybe let's let's suss the area out first. Anyway, we might as well see what's on the outskirts. Is there a door? Is there an exit door? Because I assumed we'd have to get out somehow. It might just be that when you collect all the diamonds, you get an exit door. So I'm just going to run. I'm going to see if this works. Maybe just, if you have faith, it sometimes rewards you. I think that's actually how you do it, you know. I think we were, maybe if we had a little bit more planning uh, for the second grave. But I think we can do this. It'd be good to at least do one level. Oh, no, not like that. I think I was just fortunate that the timing worked the first time. Okay, well, that, well, a bit interesting. Let's just try cave two. So this is going to be very similar to the one that we did the first time. But it's a slightly different make. And as you can see, we've actually got to knock these boulders down, I guess before we can uh, make our way through. requires a bit more uh, thought on how to to get past the level. Now, what I'm wondering is, can we go down and to the right to dodge the boulders, or should we just come in from this side? I'm going to just come in from this side, to be honest. It'll be interesting to see if they can actually... Okay, so they can't actually destroy a diamond. Oh, and we made it. We made it. That was close. Um, and now this bit all seems fairly straightforward. I guess we'll just rush through here at the bottom. Um, pick this up. I don't know if that boulder's going to fall. It doesn't look like it is. But we almost need it to. Um, and similarly, this one, we need to fall. So that we can get to these two diamonds. Oh, I, It's one of those things, you think with these sort of simplistic games, you, you play it for two minutes and you feel like you know it. Um, and probably watching it is the same thing. But I will say, your, your heart does sort of skip a beat as these boulders fall down. Maybe it's just because I'm not very good at the game and I've never played it before. But you do just always worry if you're going to get out of there fast enough. It has that... Um, I don't know, it's one of those... You know, with a lot of the, the simple games that came out back in the day, I guess they weren't simple at the time, it's about having a very engaging core loop more than it is about having loads of fancy mechanics, etc., like a lot of games have nowadays. And there's something to be said for simplicity, for sure. Um, I'm just trying to think where we want to go. Go here. Go around here. So we're actually doing far better than we were doing on the first time. I don't know what that says about it. Now, what I'm wondering is, are we going to get stuff full? to the right if I don't do this first. In fact, I could probably just go around like this. That's probably the safest way. And then make it to the exit. There we go. We actually did a level. So that's, that's a good success. Only eight minutes into the video. And already this looks a lot, lot more complicated. And we've got a, a funky new beat to, to go with that. So one thing I didn't mention before is you can actually hold control and push boulders as well. So obviously, and here I think that's what you're meant to do to be able to get over to these ones. Um, and similarly, well, we don't actually even need to go to that bottom, right? I know I can see that one below us, but I don't. That seems scary to me, to be honest. I don't want to allow these red bits to escape if I can at all help it. Um, but yeah, if you've if you played this, well, maybe not this game, well, this game or the original game before, please let me know in the comment section. It'd be interesting to know how many retro gamers we have, or people that like the retro genre, because you know it, it is a classic, and it's the roots of where where gaming really kicked off. Um, it's definitely the, what, the game that it sort of reminds me of, even though I guess the gameplay loop is very different, but maybe it's more how it looks, is uh, Bomberman. So Bomberman was a classic that I played as a kid, um, where obviously you have to push bombs around and try and blow up the other people you're playing as. I'm just seeing where we are. I'm basically trying to get everything that won't unlock one of these <laughs> square suns before I move on. And it looks like we've done that, so we've got a couple more to pick up. Probably best to start from the bottom. I have no idea how we're going to get that. Right. So it's just these two. I'm pretty sure it's just these two. 
So how are we going to... Um, I wonder if we can get a boulder to crush it. Is that a strange idea? Is this going to work? I don't think it's going to work. Definitely not going to work. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what happened there because I don't feel like I had a chance to avoid it. So maybe what we can do is try and... Um, I don't know. If I just go down one, See, I just pressed down there once and then immediately pressed up. So I'm not really sure. Maybe we have to get a boulder to destroy it somehow. I'll give it one more try. Um, see. No, no, definitely not. Well, maybe we're just not cut out for these levels. There's probably some people that have played this game, you know, back in their childhood, etc. And know exactly how to play. Let's try again on Cave M. Okay, so already very different. So they have a lot of different types of zone and a lot of different music for that. I wonder if this is a teleporter. Or maybe this is the exit, I'm not sure. Um but right, let's see what we're looking at. Okay. Well I got an achievement for that. It looks like we created gems. I'd have to look at that again. See if we can get the ball. So I think these are gems that have to have a boulder hit in order for you to unlock them. That's that's at least what I'm thinking. Um so now I'm obviously petrified about how I'm gonna make these boulders fall without dying myself. Let's see if we can move over. Is there going to be an area like here we could run across? I think we could maybe run across. Well, actually, I see that there's a gap right here. So maybe we go through here. Okay, so you can't actually touch those uh, blue butterflies. Uh, so I wonder if we just need to... Well, that's not how we do it, that's for sure. Um, try and get a boulder to fall on. Okay. Um, let's just start from cave A, level 5. So let's see. This, I feel like, is the classic. It's the base experience. I'm assuming I've never played the game. It's probably better to start here to try and actually get some semblance of understanding of the game. I was watching a little bit on YouTube, actually, and it does seem like some people speedrunning this game. I don't know if it has a community as such, but there are some people that are incredibly good at speedrunning this game very quickly. Um, which, considering how much it's mind flooding my game, my mind at the moment, is uh, pretty impressive. I wonder what that... Sounds like there's an alarm going off in the soundtrack. It scared me for a second. I thought it was in my house. Hmm. I do sometimes find that the keys stick slightly. I don't know if it's because I'm playing on keyboard and mouse and I should play on controller, but I don't imagine so. Um, it's probably just something you have to get used to. As you see, I'm powering through now. I know exactly what I'm doing. There was also a, a game called... Oh, I don't know why I didn't quite make it there. But um, there was also a game called Dig Dug, if anyone's ever heard of Dig Dug. Um that was similarly sort of all about digging holes in the ground. So it reminds me a bit of that. Um, and here we go. It's going well. So just so you know, so what we're trying to do on this What If uh, series of YouTube videos is basically look at games that have come out in the last 24 hours. And uh, one of the big things I have noticed, and I don't know if other people knew this about Steam at least, is Steam, you get a lot of um, releases during the week, especially on a Friday. But then basically you don't get much on a Saturday, and even less on a Sunday. So this came out on Saturday. I don't know why that blew me up. I'm, I'm really unsure. And there's really not anything on there that I want to uh, <laughs> record for a Sunday. Either there, there's a couple of things that have a price point to them, uh, be quite expensive, or also, uh, you know, a lot of those uh, sort of furry style uh, dating simulator games. And I mean, I don't know. That's not what I want this channel to be. And it's also not what I find enjoyable. So I'm going to avoid those. Potentially we could do a terrible review of one of them or something at some point. Now, I'm wondering how we're meant to... We're just meant to be really fast here. Oh, well. That looked like it worked. I'm not sure how we get back up out of this. Okay, we can get back up without losing. Okay, so this one seems almost more like a puzzle rather than anything else. Though, looking at this, it's just overwhelming me in terms of what we're meant to do. I guess we break through, we can go up and eventually we have to go down here. Where's the exit we have to get to? I assume it's down here on the Right, maybe? Oh, so the exit is probably the same as the entrance. So we can either go up from here or up from here. I think if we just go up, what I want to check is, have I just been rushing? If I stand here, will the, so the boulder above us will never actually kill us. So maybe when I was rushing, that's part of the reason that I was dying. Sorry, this is quite loud. I assume rip headphone users. But um, So as soon as I move to the left, it's then going to fall. But wouldn't fall before that. Okay, so I'm just going to just gonna hide here. I don't know if there's actually any way to turn down the sound, so apologies there. And now we've got a nice clean sweep of things to pick up. So sometimes I guess probably me going so fast at the start there was the worst thing I could do. And instead, I should just be going slow and steady 
to win the win the race, basically. Um, to coin an adage. Now, how are we going to get this one? Okay, that's fine. And I guess we're meant to go here and let that drop straight down. Now, how we... Maybe I've already broken the game, because I don't know how we're ever going to get those ones. I feel like they're just trapped now. But we shall see. Maybe you only have to get a set number. Is this... I haven't really looked at the top. So if I put that, 37. So that's how many we've got. Maybe we need to get 80. Like, there's an 80 in the top left. 38. Um, what I'm conscious of is it looks like we've got a timer counting down. So I don't know if that means we have only a little bit more time to... I think we've got to do it all within that, that time. So that's why I started rushing there at the end. Um, okay, let's try this while we're still... Let's try just bro breaking this out. Now, I don't know why I died just then. I probably just... My brain turned off for just a split second. But I thought nothing was meant to fall on you while you were standing here. But I think as soon as we go down, it's going to go down with us. So we basically have to go down and immediately... Well, let's go down a lot and then immediately to the right. I think it's just that you're slow to change direction. Um, but anyway, let's try one more cave. And then that's probably going to be it for this video. I know it's a bit of a shorter video. But I think you know this probably gives you enough to know if you want to play the game or if you don't want to play the game. How did I randomly get onto the same one again? That's not what I was looking to do. Let's try, well, let's go back to the old classic, right? We never actually completed this level. And, you know, this should arguably be uh, my, you know, the easiest level, your first rodeo on this game. So let's see if we can uh, get this one. It's not what I intended to do. It ended up working. Um, all this stu stu the stuff at the start is all very simple, so it shouldn't be too confusing. But we have to watch out for is that bit at the end that was constantly getting us stuck. And maybe now that we know that we can effectively balance the boulder on our head indefinitely, we might be in a lot of a better place. We just have to be worried about how we exit afterwards. So far, so good. So if instead I go down, down, left, we're now fine. And then I can go back up. Yeah, so that seems a lot easier than what I was trying to do before anyway. Um, and here we're just going to go down. So maybe we just have to be a bit more tactical. What I keep thinking is you can outrun the boulder and you can go to the left or the right. I don't think, maybe it's purposeful that you can't. So it's all a bit more about strategic planning rather than just, just run forehead, basically. And if we take a little bit more thought in this, we can probably do it. I'm not the most patient gamer, as you might have already seen a couple of the videos that we've done to, already on this channel. But let's see if we can at least do this level. And then maybe we'll play until we uh, lose all our lives. But hey, anyway, this is Boulder Dash. Nice, simple game, but very fun. And I can already feel it getting its hooks into me slightly. It's quite an addictive game. So we're going to slow and steady here. Pick it up and then go to the right. Oh, we'll go to the left even. I should know my left from my right. And similarly here, we can probably just clear away like this. And then just go left, right. Probably all about being slow and steady like this is going to make us so much easier to complete the levels. Now this bit should be easy, just going across the top. Now we do have to worry about this boulder, but... Nothing too much. I think I'm just going to go through here because that should drop straight down. We can pick up all of these, move to the right, go all the way up, and then into the checkpoint. So that was really easy now. So maybe now I've understood a bit how the physics work and how the boulders fall. We've got a lot of a, a much better chance of actually doing well on this game. Now, I'm trying to think if we actually. Was this the same one that we started? It's slightly different, right? We, um, But it looks very similar to the one. Now, I don't know what we just did there. Is this some sort of bonus? I don't know. But for now, I'm not going to complain. All I know is these, these yellow squares, are, yellow red squares are the bane of my existence. I never want to see one ever again on this game. Um, so I'm just going to avoid it because it doesn't look like we have to interact with it. I don't know if there, maybe there are some bonus areas or something like that or, or bonuses from, I don't know, clearing all the dirt or something like that. Right, let's go through here. This one seems a lot easier than the first level to be absolutely so as long as you understand how the game works. I guess this is the first time you have to purposely drop a boulder. I guess you've got to drop all of these boulders so that you have enough space to clear into this area, like so. And then up and over. And that should be, or well, this should be, all of the gems. And then I guess we have to go all the way back to the start to get out. That would make sense because I only saw that one door. Um, so I hope we can even get to it. Okay, so we can. Just trying to... Thing. And there we go. In, in we go. Perfect. Right. Maybe, maybe we'll get through all of this. Maybe after a really slow start, we've we worked out the strategy. More than likely, I'm just going to have a boulder fall directly on my head in a second. But um, right, it seems like there's a lot going on here. So I'm just trying to plan my route. I guess if we go here and here, then here and here, 
Oh, we have made a bit of an avalanche, but it's not necessarily a bad thing because that's freed us up in above me to get to that gem when we get there. I'm going to go this way. Oh, didn't even think about that. Sometimes it happens so fast, especially because I guess we're still playing on turbo mode. You don't even realize and then suddenly you're just exploded. Um, right, how did we do that last time? We came in here like this, down, in and around, then wait for everything to drop. So we can't go the way I was going to go. Let's instead go. I wonder if we just go. Yeah, that seemed to work. Or at least I'm still alive, which is all you can ask for. And there we go. We picked up that gem. I'm just trying to do this in like an obvious pattern so I don't forget that I have, have, have to go somewhere and skip it. I think maybe just confidence is key on this. I'll be absolutely honest. Right. It's quite a long level. I'm just trying to think how we're going to get around. Maybe we'll just double back. Maybe it's not the right move. I'm not really sure how to tackle that bit at this point. I just realized we can't double back. We've blocked ourselves up. That just looks like a death trap waiting to happen. So, hmm. what do you think? Do you think we can go all the way to the top? Because then we can hold this on our head and then go to the right. Yeah, that worked like a charm. Oh, I feel like I'm understanding this game's language already, which is good. Now, here, if I go down, I'm going to die because this boulder's going to fall on my head. Is how I believe. No, we do have time to do that. It's probably something to do with when they're too high. You've got a bit of extra time. I think I'm going to have to just beeline it down. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. <laughs> but we made it. We made it. And then I can go back up. And then... I'm trying to think. Are we definitely going to... I wonder. I didn't actually check. Can you pull? It doesn't look like you can pull boulders. Okay. So, maybe... I feel like I'm actually getting us stuck. So I can keep this on my head. If I go down, surely I'm just going to die. I can go down twice and just try and go right. Ooh, okay, breathe. Three, two, one. Down, right. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, good. That's what we like to see. I'm not sure. I still don't know what the sort of snow is or the snowflakes are for, what that means, but we are getting somewhere. Oh no, I took my I just went too fast at the end. Just went too fast at the end. Okay, we've got one life left, I believe. So let's see if we can do this. I think we had we had the strategy. We were getting we were sort of understanding the game, getting it down just then. Just need to have a little bit more patience. As soon as I took my eye off the ball, the ball, we immediately lost. So probably should go the same way I went last time. But let's just explore this side of the map. Because it might be that it's easier to clear this than go double back afterwards. So should be able to run through here and pick that up and just go over the top. So that clears that out easily. Go here, over and that way, pick up these. This seems a lot easier already. And then I think maybe we just then circumvent back up to the top. And if I remember rightly, we just ran all the way to the right here. And then we worried about getting this one at the top. Yep, that seems fine. Now we can head down, get this one with no problems. Do you want to keep going down or do you want to keep going up? So if I go down here, that boulder's going to fall, which is going to block us. So I sort of said what it was going to do, and then did it anyway, even though I'm not sure if it was the right move. Um, and then we could just pick that one up. And then it falls back down. Okay, so we, could, we can still make it back up here. And I'm going to go all the way back, all the way to the top. I think this is the same thing as what I did last time. Pick up this gem for free. Then this is the avalanche, where we know we're going to cause it. We can uh, easily make it. And now we've done, we've covered left to right, and we've covered the bottom left quadrant as well. So let's see. Yeah, we're fine here, fine here, fine here. All the way to down then right is what we had to do last time. Pick up that last gem and go round. Now. This is what I did last time. And I was like, how do I actually escape this? Let's go up and round. Just, just think a little bit before you act. So here... We're just going to go all the way down and then to the right, if I remember rightly. Hmm. <laughs> I think this is what you call a game over. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know how not to get hit by boulders, but I didn't think about how to get out once you're trapped by them. So I assume we can resume. I think we're just going to have to X out there. Well, this is Boulder Dash. It's free on Steam. I'll put the link in the video description below. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more retro gaming content as well, just let me know. I think we're going to keep up this what if, what if series as long as possible. But yeah, drop a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I look forward to seeing you next time.